here. Uh, uh, we're on number Mem Gimel. Mem Gimel. He said, "By Inyan who va'ata and the var harab b'fnei ma yesh esrim ve'echod shem v'savaya ba'ir b'parshas of the film. Give he also besod the ebor that we're in the ebor stage. Hoyazam besod shmosh kavim v'man. Now this is a little bit hard for me here to understand this. At that time, Azir Anpin was just three lines. Shachavi kasher habzal b'choyu besod the ebor besod ima hare." So there's only three lines. So this is class low plus. Now what he was was three inside of three. In other words, there were three lines. There were three things. And now this is the beginning, I guess, of what we say, you know, of the tikkun. That the three lines. He says class low to last of shloshes a kavim shalol, and on his three lines, hoya chagat. He had chagat. Uh, so the three lines were, I think I understand, and then doubled into them. And this is the this is different from the way that I correct me if I'm wrong, but I always understood that the nai folded on top of the of, of the chaga. But here we're saying the opposite. We're saying that the the nai is inside of the chaga. So, so Malchus because a Taurus can discuss a Kanezka. Now we went over that where the Mal where, where Malchus is located at this point, and it's uh, very nicely stated. So he said, Malchus Chesed Bezman even beso the Taurus he sold. So he said, Okay, let's have a Shabbos. So now you have seven different things. What are they? They're the Chagat Nai, and they're the Malchus. Which says it again, he says it's inside of the Hagat. In a Malchus, you hear Taurus, you sew together with Malchus, that's seven pieces inside in the embryonic state. Shem Chesed Gavor to Ferris, that's a whole you sew the Malchus. Nichla Bakal Echon, Machet Shlosha Chakavim, and his Karim. So he says that they are incorporated in each one of the Kavim. Now, this, this is what I, I, I really have in trouble understanding this. Because in in the right cup, for example, you have uh, uh, chesed and natsa, uh, so that's that's two pieces. That's why I understand what's here in this gestation state. So he says, but even the chalalas sphere is a chesed, but call the shloshin kavim. But he says there's a chesed now in each one of the kavim. So I guess what he's saying is he's, he's saying that there is a a vok inside of each aspect of what's ultimately going to be the vok. So the vok of the vok, I think that's what he's saying. I'm not sure, because he says the ever nechlalas spheres a chesed we call it shlosha kavit. So an ever then you have chesed in each one of the lines. The chesed in in chesed is a chesed in gevura, and the chesed chesed in in teferis. So anyway, he says a chesed we call it shlosha kavit. Shehim yamin small the emza the chen spheres a gevura nechlalas we call it shlosha kavit. Also, there's gevura in the right and his left in the middle. So you know, this the I'm so really trying to picture this in my mind, uh, uh, what it what it looks like. So you have also uh, uh, hub is in each line. So each one of them has is it's a line of chagat, uh, chagat nai, and each one of them has the complete chagat nai within it. Each one of the spheres there. The chain Ayisol Nechlal Mekal the Shlosha Kavim. So also, it's also incorporated in all the three lines. The chain Amal Nechlal the Mekal the Shlosha Kavim. Now, using in sphere terms, it sounds like you're talking about in Orech. Is that in one sense maybe you're talking about in Ovi? You're going from right to left. The other sense is that inside of each one of those lines is another Haganai. That's what it sounds like to me. So anyway. So now you have you have seven seven aspects inside of each one of the lines. So that's three times seven is twenty-one. So now all of them, call of Bishlosha Kavim, they have three lines within them. That's a little bit just like I say, it's just a little bit difficult for me to hear it, other than the way that I try to say it. Him esrim ve'echod. So you add that up. You have three lines, and each one of the lines has has seven parts to it. 
That's really basically what it sounds like. Therefore, that's why you have uh, 21 Havayas. Which is the Chag of Nehem, called Echad Kalo Im Shlosha Kavami. Each one of them is incorporated in all the three lines. That makes three times seven, twenty-one. So now that you got it, that's a question left over. He says, What's the question? So he wants to say like this. So since Ima is called Akio, she's called by that name. He, he says, And inside of this gestation is taking place inside of Ima. So therefore, since it's in there, he says, So therefore, the number of times we have the UK Bavke, we it's an Eki, it's an Eki amount of times that you see it, because it's got the stamp, so to speak, uh, where I hear it, of uh, of Ima on it. She shame Agya. So in this Eber time, you have it's everything is done with her stamp, her name. She shame Agya. The fichoch yesh esrin ve'echo shame b'savaya b'tefillin. So therefore, you're going to have twenty one avayas in tefillin. Kamiz bar shame Agya. Shehu shame shal ima. Now there's a kasha on this. So he said, "Ve'im tomer in case." So if you say like this, of the kasha, the im yesh esrin ve'echo shame shal avaya. So you have twenty one avayas there. Learn Mos Al Shame Akia and they use the Havayas to give you a, 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 a reference or to what's the hint at the name Akia, which is inside of them, so to speak. Shahu Gam Esrin Ba'achud, which is also Gamatria 21. So you have 21 Havayas versus the 21 letters of uh, Gamatria of Akia. He said, Vyihya Esrin Ba'achud Shame Shal Akia, below Shame Havaya. But listen, <laughs> this doesn't make any sense. Oz, Oz Kasha, the Ma Nikhtavu Esrin Ba'achud. Shem so this is the secret that he wants to teach us. He says, why, why wouldn't you do an Ekias? There's nothing better than that. They have Ekias. There's which come to kind of 21. So it really would be better. That's really what you should have there. And then you really know that it has to do with, with Ima. So therefore, you have remes the hedges. So now you have a specific remes. I'll even resolve the milk be even on Nicholas Egan. We couldn't have anything better than that. So now we have to get an answer. Why is that? So the Tom, the reason, for Tom, if may if they man nip to look at the fill of shame shall for buy a dike, below shame shall Egan. Who can shame Egan more? I'll begin this is pastures. Egan is is a future idea. It's about it's talking about spreading. Shame Akya, Iran is all his passions of Mocha Basoho. Basoho is, is is spreading the Mochim into Zerampin, Kamoshimura Habashan Akya that's going to be, it's in the process. Shemeda uh 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 Shemila Zekha Neenro Al Masha Asida and also this is referring to what's gonna be. In other words, the Akya is, is is I guess is the is what you call potential energy. So it's the Ma Shasid in the Asa to make you use the Varam Chadashin to make something new. That's what's going to happen now. Be his Pashtas Chadashin and another spread. Uh, so and a further development. I'm not a Vaya Mora Al Kiyosa Kamosh Hu Atta, but the Chavaya is really teaching. It's a Chavaya on the other hand. It's teaching about a state. It's permit. It's state. Not the Terish in this Pashtas the Mokham. And it's a stage before it's, it, it's not talking about. Uh, the his pastors of the mochin. It's talking about the state of the mochin. Let's see how how he says it. Akshem of Vaya Ramos blushes of Vaya Daiker. The Moshe who other maybe even believe his pastors of mochin. Why it is now we're not talking about the spreading of the mochin. But the chain the Ramazim as a zaka shukub be ever. So therefore the rem is the zak when we see that state the shame is a vaya. So therefore we go on the vaya shuhu mora al kol shata which al kach. Sha'ata, who be Eber, this is to tell you that at this time he's in the Eber state, below Miss Pashti Mamokin delay. Now, I would have said it differently, so that's so I kind of misunderstood this a little bit. 
So he, let me go back and say, Shuhu Mora al Karsha'ata, who be Evers, and that's the tell you really that the stage that you're talking about here is the Evers stage. And the Evers stage, Vulo Mispashna and the Mulchim delay. And then that Mulchim are not spreading. Rock Shaniktiv Okal F and Shemel Shel Havaya, but the reason why we have the the 21 names of the Vaya, the Remesh Ata Habaza, who be Ever, is to tell you that he's still in an Ever stage. Besok ima inside of ima, so therefore you have to you have you have the concept of twenty ones are always multiplying out like into twenty one like like that because of the fact that it's inside of ima. What we're really talking about is the development of zeranpin or the mochet of zeranpin himself. She don't think it is accurate. She's accurate. For he never a repetition the kutz of this arich and nizka. So now we have just a few more minutes. So he says now he says that the repetition the kutz of this arich. Naturally, it has to cut out. There's a timer on that phone. Okay, so let's let's get into this. The 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 striking that we're talking about again. The the kibutzes the sa'arim that strike the back of the of the head of uh, of uh, zeranpin hanizker. So he says, "Le'el kasa v'rav shechem mochem shel the fillim miyatsim machmas akutah the sa'ari shel erikantu shehiku ba'ach the the reisha the erikat the zeranpe by your day came yatsa ha'aris and mochem the zeranpe so that the fillim and this is what causes the ha'ara to come out from inside and make the the fillim lo lo ho ilo rak the ho tzi ha'ara bilvad shel mochem but it only helps in terms of this ha'ara we're talking about the fillim." Tefillin is aara of something, a aara of of the malach that's inside. Mezuha kol shal shal lakutza this aara the irakan pen bezal lo ho ila elo rak lo ho tzia merazecha aara and mokum shalom. That's all it does. Bilva just an aara besot at the tefillin. The ain't a rabbi other bezman she based in mitzvah kaim and this only took place. But hakol zu this hakol that we're talking about the kutza is aara. Derek Berich the Berich Berich is their anpin he and then Ella Rock is bunch of basic mitzvah guy. Came in Shaz Yesh because Ace uh, because is constantly molding the godless Berich is their anpin molding the godless in his head. But on the molding in the nipsakim b'shum gab they never stop they never they never stop them. Of a laachish is a a shagavar nechro basic mitzvah but now the basic mitzvah is not here. He says, "Oz mistalki ma mochen the godless, uh, uh, godless the mochen the godless are gone, but may the oz is ah the bechid is kachlus. Vein though ki im mochen the kachlus vat. If a chav istalkus a mochen the godless is their anpin, and so we said istalkus the leaving of those mochen is their anpin. Vah vah vahashi im mochen the kachlus vat, and then leaving him only with mochen the godless. Ze inyan the azib b'kol yom v'yom. So this is what's happening really every single day." Ak b'shaz amiras kriya shema b'tefillin, but that was when? When is that? This process of bringing a godless in only takes place at two different times. He said, "Who be'ez amiras kriya shema b'tefillin? Yesh banu hakoch lahachzer as a moch the godless to zeranpin. We get the the kavana here is to bring the mochim back into zeranpin. Avecha ba'acha tefillin, but after that, and with only we could do this, we're on the bottom. While ba'acha had tefillin, should be stalk and the moch the godless bezad and they leave." and that's all Zeran Ben has. It go right back. So we see where we see is that exactly happening. It happens that it leaves Zeran Ben after the Fila. But now don't forget this. <coughs> now that you got involved in this, Shalom is man at the Fila. All the rest of the days, the the, the day after you've davened. Nisha bezel gitzas rishim shall arum in the mulch in the godless should keep a bemeshek of creation of the field. The lechem, the kevin should bemeshek and call the yom. So since we see that you have the essence of it still um, still remains, should love his man of the field. Nisha bezel gitzas rishim shall arum in the mulch in the godless. The fiqh calls the yom kuz the man hanachas the field. So therefore, all the daytime you could do it field all day long. And how do you do that? Because the Rishima was still shining Kabayahu out of Zeranpin's head. He says, when nighttime comes, let me see if I'm in this right place, Phil. 
Ein Gimel, Ein Gimel. Okay, we got a little bit more. The Stalin Merazar of Fido and Rishima, the Tzal even loses the Rishima, Shalva Arvaz and Mogul, the God of Shalva, which we've seen in other places because it becomes a Maki from Zap of his head. But the Haven, Haven should belie them as Talk and Merazar of Fido, Rishima, Shalva Arvaz and Mogul, the God of He said, But Ophan should belie the Ain the Zar Shum Mogi, the Fichla Halilo, who loves a man, fell. And I think that's it right there. That's where we're stopping. Thank you so much for going through this with me.